Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Thank you for coming in for another episode. All right, so uh, today's episode, we are uh, going to do another uh, another wine from WD3, and uh, it's the Condé de Velasquez 2008, 2008? 2008 Chardonnay, uh, again from the uh, Aconcagua ah, Aconcagua Aconcagua Valley. How did I say it yesterday, like without stumbling? Aconcagua Valley from Chile. Um, again, don't have a price for it, but I'm gonna I'm going to guess that it's uh, in the um, six to nine dollar range. I'm gonna give it a little healthy rinse here um, from yesterday's wine. Outstanding. I'll have two CVS leagues. Um, really need to get the rest of that. Sorry. Really, really need to make sure I... Going from a Cabernet to a Chardonnay, really want to um, make sure you don't have that residual wine in there. So, um, so we're going to check it out here. And again, this was not one of the wines that, um, that we had... Uh, at the wine tasting, so again, I'm excited to, to try something new, and um, I didn't read the notes. Let's see what the notes say. Uh, Chardonnay is one of the world's best. This Chardonnay is one of the world's best. Wow. So that means it should be like in the 90, mid-90s range. So they're, they're already, they're laying it down, buddy. Fermented in stainless steel and polished with a touch of French oak. This wine offers tropical fruit aromas and toasted flavors that linger on through the finish. Frank, this better be 95.1. <laughs> anyway, um, I mean, it's marketing stuff. These guys, you know, it's really, the, the back of labels are meant to get you to buy the wine. All right, so I can kind of see the tropical fruit, but I don't really get tropical fruit. I get some fruit out of, the, out of those. What else did they say? I'm supposed to get a toasted, a toasted finish, right? And toasted, oh, toasted flavor, so that's going to be from the oak. Yeah, I guess some fruit. I mean, it's, it's a pleasant nose. It's, it's not, um, it, it's, it doesn't kill me with, with oak and vanilla and, all, and butter. So, I mean, it's a stainless steel thing. They, they, I guess they, they, maybe they uh, age it a little bit in, um, in French oak, maybe for like a month or two. So, yeah, I mean, it's a soft nose. There's nothing, nothing, uh. Nothing spectacular about it. Doesn't it's not gonna it's not rocking my world, but it means pleasant. I like it. So let's check it out. Um, it's got some good acid to it. Um, it's pleasant. It's uh, easily. It, you know, it's very easy drinking, especially at room temperature. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's pretty good. Um, I, I like I like Chardonnays. Or I like they call naked Chardonnays or unoaked Chardonnays. This has got a little bit of oak um, to it, and. I get maybe a little bit of toastiness, but for the most part, it's it's more of an acidic Chardonnay. It's it's clean. Um, I don't get tons of minerality, but but you know it's 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 there a little bit. You know it's 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 drinkable. I don't want to say drinkable because it makes it sound like it's you know okay. I think it's pretty good. I, I'd give it an eighty-eight. I mean it's, um, I mean this is. I wouldn't say it's one of the world's best Chardonnays. I mean, I mean, to say it's one of the world's best Chardonnays, I'm sorry, man. You, now you're really trying to play with the big dogs, and and I'm not going to say it's the best Chardonnay I've ever had, and uh, and all that, but, you know, I, I like it. 88, um, totally could have it. it it's, it's kind of almost, I hate to say it, but it's almost like a summery type of Chardonnay, but that's because it, it's, it's the stainless steel stuff. It's not overly oak. It's not really heavy uh, type of stuff, so... Uh, so it's going to be more or in that style, a lighter, a lighter flavor to it. Got a little barbecue out of it, but that, yeah, it's got to be this wine. Yeah, a little fruity too. So 
it opened up a little more. It's a solid effort, 88 points. I think it's really good. Um, anyway, so thanks for stopping in. Um, today's episode, uh, probably while it's, it, it's been up, I'm sitting sitting at the Holiday Inn at a tweet up, not, well, a Twitter event. Uh, um, it's called Bumper. And uh, listen to people talk about getting, free, not getting free stuff, but utilizing free tools and free free stuff on the internet for your websites and stuff like that. So we're going to be learning some good stuff there. Um, we're going to do another episode tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to do four this week. And we're going to do another one of the, the wines I got from w, WD3. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to do the, another Conde de Velasquez. Um, or I'm going to do the uh, Campus of Zin, which we had at the tasting. It's a really good Zin. I remember liking that one a lot. Um, <clears throat> So we got that. Um, as always, friend me up. Send me emails. Send me comments. I uh, really enjoy getting that stuff. Um, and uh, I'm also doing a. Uh, I haven't. I haven't set it up yet. Or well, I mean, I set it up. But if you want to join a free, uh, if you want to join a free fantasy football league, which I actually replied to somebody else about a different league. But if you want to join a free, a free fantasy football league, I got one of my friends already signed up for it. I think you can have ten total teams. So I need eight slots. Or maybe it's 12 teams and we can have we have 10 slots left. I don't know. Uh, send me a, an ad or a D on Twitter or send me an email. This is, you know, kind of a national thing. I am doing one locally uh, with people I know in town. So uh, so if you're in town and you haven't signed up for that one, let me know. We'll get you on that one instead. But uh, this will, but the, 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 uh, the national one will be a free one. I'm not going to do any money on it. And it's just for fun. So if you want to join it, let me know. Send me send me a note and we'll, uh, I'll send you the details, send you the, the link and the password. Or the name of it and the password. It's something Twitter related. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, that's it. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you again next time.